Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Latest news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. So the Matthew Lawrence situation. This is sad. He is talking about how he was basically. Um, he was fired by his agency because he wanted to, um, he wouldn't do what the director wanted him to do. He refused to strip down for a director and he lost a Marvel role, Marvel role because of this. So I want you guys to go ahead and listen to what um, Matthew Lawrence had to say. Give me just a second. Hopefully this plays. Okay, it's playing. The next Marvel character. I didn't do that, and my agency fired me because I left this this director's room. So a lot of my other male friends have gone through with both men and women in this in industry, but there's a double standard, and this is where I bring Terry Crews. Terry Crews comes out and says it. People are laughing at him. They kick him out. Why? Because he's a man that represents masculinity, and I think our society is less ready to hear that situation going on with men than they are with women. There's been many times in my life where I've been propositioned to get a huge role. I've lost my agency because I went to the hotel room, which I can't believe they would send me to, of a very prominent Oscar award winning director who showed up in his robe, asked me to take my clothes off and said he needed to take Polaroids of me. And that if I did X, Y, and Z, I would be the next Marvel character. I didn't do that. And my agency fired me because I left this, this director's room. So a lot of my other male friends have gone through with both men and women in this in industry, but there's a double standard. And this is where I bring Terry Crews. Terry Crews comes out and says it. People are laughing at him. They kick him out. Why? Because he's a man that represents masculinity. And I think our society is less ready to hear that situation going on with men than they are with women. There's been many. All right. So you guys heard what Matthew Lawrence had to say. Now, Matthew Lawrence, um, you know, he's he's from the 90s. He's from Mrs. Doubtfire. His older brother is Joey, Lo Joey Lawrence from Blossom. They also have a little brother as well. So the Lawrence brothers, they have been in acting for years. Um, he's currently dating Chili from TLC. But what is very interesting about this situation is I agree with him 100 percent. People are not ready to hear the conversation when it comes to male sexual abuse, especially in the industry. The Me Too movement definitely helped a lot of women and it helped take down a lot of powerful men. But as soon as Terry Crews said something, I still remember D.L. Hughley making fun of him to this day, saying, oh, well, he's too big. And, you know, I wish a person would and this and that. You never know how you'll act in a situation, especially at a party with all these people around and you don't want to be seen as the angry black man and some, you know, director, producer just thinks they can come up and grab your junk and dare you to do something. You know, stuff like this happens a lot more than people realize. And I know they hate to say names. Like I get it. You know, it's scary. They don't really want to say anything. But if I was a betting woman, I would say that the director he's talking about is Brian Singer. Now, if y'all don't know, Brian Singer, um, he's basically kind of disappeared from the Hollywood scene, but he was the director of many X-Men movies. Then we all watched An Open Secret. If you guys have not seen An Open Secret, I suggest that you watch it. Brian Singer is a sick and depraved man who used not only his status in Hollywood, um, but also the fact that he was able to like, you know, be a producer on these big budget movies. And he would use that to lure in what you call, you know, teens and twinks. Twinks are, you know, young gay boys that look really young. So a lot of them were really actually young and some of them were twinks where they were of age, but they look really young. And he would sodomize them and do all types of stuff to them. He was infamous for having these pool parties 
where these young boys between the ages of 14 and 18 would be taking drugs. Um, you know, he'd be getting them drunk, promising them stuff, and nothing would come of it. And so I really feel like that was a whistle for Brian Singer. So, you know, again, allegedly, but I feel like that's who he's talking about, especially being that he said Marvel. And one of the biggest Marvel franchises is X-Men. And one of the biggest perverts attached to the Marvel franchise is Brian Singer. Just saying. So it, it's, it's sad. It's sad. But I'm glad that he's being very honest because it happens a lot more um, than you would know. And um, Matthew Lawrence was very, very handsome. I mean, he's still handsome. But, you know, I can definitely see, you know, these producers coming on to him. But it also shows you how a lot of these agents, they're not there to protect your children. They're there for their best interest. Because he says, because he refused to stay in that room once that director propositioned him, his agency dropped him. So a lot of these agencies are nothing more than, you know, they're, they're madams for some of these directors and some of these Hollywood A-listers. And the second you're not willing to do the deed, you're out of there. You're fired, you know? And think about how many people go through with it because they just want to break into Hollywood. They just want to make that, you know, get that big role. And they don't get it. But now the producer has gotten what they wanted out of them. So this is why as parents, exactly, a lot of them are pimping them. Um, this is why as parents, it is your job to protect your minor child. You know, once they're grown, it's a lot harder, but it's your job to protect your child. You don't just trust your child with their agent or manager. Remember what happened to Todd, uh, to Todd Bridges? His parents trusted him in the hands of his agent slash manager. And that was the person who was victimizing him for years. So it is your job as a parent to protect your child. Don't be so fooled by the glitz and glamour of Hollywood that you're willing to sell your child's soul to the highest bidder. So kudos to Matt for talking about this and for bringing it to light because so many times they act like it's only women who are on that casting couch. But a lot of these men have been rolled on that casting couch as well, as quiet as it's kept. So protect the babies for sure. Yeah, Corey Feldman, exactly. He was another person who talked about it all the time. Um, that's why a lot of these Nickelodeon and Disney kids are messed up. Look at Orlando Brown. I, I feel like he's fighting a lot of demons, a lot of things that happened to him in the industry, you know? So it's, it's really scary. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.